everyone. We're here today with an autumn jewelry haul. I say we not to refer to me and my voices. I'm talking about me and Gomez. He's just behind the camera, looking all autumn like a tree. I am a voice in your head, Morticia. Are you saying I'm filming myself? Yes. I'm awesome. Magical. Yeah. You guys, look, I can produce the voices in my head on camera. So this um, haul is from Etsy and Amazon Handmade. Let's start with the Amazon Handmade. This is a carnelian bracelet. I like the fact that it's got long beads that are kind of six-sided. Well, they're definitely six-sided. They're not kind of. And it stretches on and off. This is a bracelet I ordered for Gomez. And it's nice for autumn just because of the orange carnelian color. It's like the turning leaves. And it can be good for Halloween too, just because again, orange and natural stone instead of like the Halloween costumey jewelry. This came from Mama Otter's Tidbits on Amazon Handmade and I will link it below. She probably has this bracelet up there. If she doesn't, you can always message her and tell her that Morticia reviewed the long six-sided carnelian bracelet and you want it. Because she's a friend, so she will handle it for you. The next item is also from Mama Otter's Tidbits. This is my carnelian bracelet. And it's like good-sized flat oval beads, but they're leaves. Let me move my hand out of the way, fondling them. They're leaves, so that's even more perfect for autumn and I have it stacked with my 1930s rhinestone bracelet and my 1880s a jet bracelet so that's cool looks good with stuff like that it's my nice autumn coloring and these are gemstone leaves which is pretty cool and the next item let me do while I'm on my leaf kick I lied this is from Joann's I said Amazon and Etsy and it's also Joann's which you probably see in the title if I remember to do that okay so the this is a little pendant um, it was only like three dollars and it looks bronzish and it's got a little like a pearl kind of stone at the top it's probably a glass bead but it reminds me of like an acorn or a berry like use your imagination what do you want it to be and it's like a sprig of leaves that like broke off a branch and it's very realistic and it's kind of like autumn leaves falling for me anyway and then let's see there's the back so that was really inexpensive and it's very sturdy and well made but lightweight enough that I can layer it and it doesn't like drag my neck down so that is lovely. And this next item is actually a strand of garnet, I wouldn't say beads because they're little cabochons set in gold plates. It's not fake, it's like plated so that's cool and it stayed on really well. These are little tiny faceted garnets. And I, you have to, this is like a jewelry supply place, so I just put an extender chain on the end of it. It was really quick and made it into a choker. If you want a long strand, you order longer. You order by the foot from this place called Gem Mart USA. I think these were like $11. That's a really good wholesale price. And red is good for autumn. So this is like a garnet. I just made it into a little garnet choker. And if I'm wearing a pendant with a really large bale, I can put it on here and just use it as a chain as well. So sometimes I do that. I just wanted to leave it as a choker to show you guys the effect of it by itself. I love garnet energy. It's very cleansing and motivational if you're into the energy of stones and I love it. It's one of my favorite stones. Good healing stone. So that's Gem Mart USA on Etsy. The next piece is trying to hold it up. My death's head moth. I have she makes earrings that I turned into uh, bracelets but she makes earrings out of this design and I have a ring I reviewed before from Clever Kim's Curios on Etsy and she made like jewelry for Charmed and other shows so that's pretty cool. This one is sterling silver. It comes in sterling silver and copper so if you want it like an autumny color, um, the earrings I got that I turned into bracelets are copper so we have both um, and I put it on a copper chain but this is the moth. It's hollow or flat on the back I'm trying to turn it without hurting the chain so but it doesn't really move a lot. It's attached by the wings to the chain so it just stays there and it's my death's head moth. Good for Halloween or autumn and she gave us nice free bat chokers as free gifts when we got these. This is called a moth choker, but I can put and easily put an extender chain on it when I want it longer. But this is about 16 inches and that's how it comes. So I wanted to wear it the way it comes and I'll put a chain on it and make it longer when I need it longer and take it back off when I want it shorter. So you can buy those that are just like extender chains. Even if you don't make jewelry, it attaches. And same for these garnets I make jewelry so I can do it without this but they come with these little clasps if you buy an extender for your chain and then these garnets just have little they're already set so they already have these little rings at the end that you can put the chain through so you don't have to make jewelry to enjoy this from Jim Mart USA just get as many feet as you want 
and I did a foot because I have a small neck and then the chain made it like a few inches longer so that worked out so that is that and then I'll put all the links to these shops obviously below here goes my favorite shop she sells her pendants on these little silk cords that you can adjust the length so I have done that and I'm wearing two of them I don't know how well his details are going to show here but he's a little mouse and I got him holding a moonstone she sells them in different stones her name is Courtney from Western Mountain on Etsy and it's sterling silver and genuine moonstone if you want a stone that's not listed just ask her like what stones do you have that I could get this in and she's really good to convo and work with you let me turn him around I like the fact that his bail all of hers are like one solid piece with the pendant so it won't ever come off that's the back but it's like this cute little mouse and he's holding the stone with his tail and body and he's adorable and mouse is cute let's see if I can get a, a better thing of his face I don't know he's probably not gonna focus because he's so little but he's adorable and he's got a cute little face and he's just the cutest and mousy just feels autumn to me and Halloween -y, so and moonstone is just a nice thing for harvest so and this is another autumn piece of hers um, again you can get it put in different stones I wanted adventuring it's like a nice happy stone if you do like metaphysical stuff it promotes joy and good fortune and all that I love it, it makes me feel bouncy um, this is a squirrel and he's got like the stone is an acorn it's sterling silver and the cap is and then the stone is like the round ball it's an acorn it's about 12 millimeters where the moonstone was 8 mil so this is a little chunk here and the squirrel is like a beefcake because he's got his tail holding the stone here up on his back and there's his little body in the front where he's walking on his hind legs and like I can carry this giant ass squirrel uh, nut because it's gonna feed me all winter because it's so big that it's on my back oh yeah he found the mother load of nuts so yeah that's very odd to me. I love squirrels, and I like the fact that this one incorporates a gemstone for his acorn. So that's really cool. And then the top is the acorn cap in sterling silver, as is the squirrel. It's all one piece that doesn't move. Now the ball twirls, but it's not going to come out. It's made in by the setting, which I love. Her stones are always like that. It's really well made, and that you never have to worry about them coming out. And he also came on the silk cord and she has a lot of like cute little animals for autumn she has bats and I reviewed those last year um, for Halloween and I've done a bat ring of hers that I reviewed like ages ago so if you enjoyed these check our other jewelry hauls because we have gotten other stuff from her I recently reviewed an octopus and a frog from her that I got recently enough in another jewelry haul so I've gotten for her fr from her for years so yeah check out our other hauls spook with us turn on daily spookifications Hit the bell, take out your aggressions on it. You know you've had a stressful like day or something. I don't know, if not, just get it out of the way before you do and hit the bell really hard and be like, yeah. Okay, you guys, we hope you enjoyed. All the links will be below for these lovely items if you wanna get your fall set off with the best jewelry. And until next time. Prepare for the fall, my friends.